So I wanted to put on like the best show I've ever put on because I, I've been to many concerts, seen all the, all the shows, and I'm like, listen, there's some planning going on to this thing, all right? So, so I definitely want to make sure I had like the best as far as I want to give everyone every ex great experience possible, just like if it was any DJ who flew in or a concert that they went to. And then it was always, you know, I, like, so manifesting is really an important thing of what I do, you know, mm -hmm. uh, vision boards, manifestation. And uh, it was always a dream for me to do a big show like this. And it was important for me to do it in my own city. And this venue, you know, I've been in there a couple of times. And when I went in and I smelt the air and the feeling of when I was standing, especially when there's a, so there's a back entrance that yeah, the yeah, artists go through, well, yeah. you know, right? Yeah. And you see the whole city. It's crazy because it's like, it's, mm. so, it's all closed off. But you see the buildings yeah, like yeah. out of everywhere. And when I was there one time, I think it was the 50 Cent show, I was like, man, this is a pretty amazing feeling over here. I'm like, I really want to do my show. And it's always been on my bucket list uh, to do it. So, you know, I tried to put it together uh, initially and someone was trying to help me out. And then they were, it was getting a little complicated and it fell through. And then I was like, I spoke to somebody and they're like, you know, don't give up. There must be a way. And this is, there always is a way, mm. right? If you're, if you're persistent, you will find the way. Uh, if you knock on all doors, eventually one door will open and somebody will say, yes, let's do it. DJ, so far, DJ Bliss in the house, DJ Bliss in the house. Hey. And you know what? We have a lot in common. And it's quite funny that, you know, we haven't actually met before. We have a lot of friends in common. Yeah. We're both, you know, compared to famous Ryans. Yeah. You, Ryan Seacrest, me, mm. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why are you laughing, bro? I don't know how you came up with that. Did you think about it? Did you come up on the spot? That's what it's I on the spot. You, you're gonna get used to it on this episode. Oh really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm quick. It's I'm just quick. like yeah, quick yeah. drop in. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you know how it is. But what do you mean? I don't like the way you laughed there. The way you <laughs> laughed there was kind of like no. I was like, we're in the middle of an intro, and then yeah. you went like boom. It's like, did you think about this? Did you come up with it right now? That was pretty. I, I think that's pretty slick of you to try and pretend you weren't laughing because you're trying to say I'm fugly. No, that's the thing that <laughs> no, no, but no, no. In no, some no. countries, I'm beautiful, bro. In some, in some mountains <laughs> in Afghanistan. Done, I'm like the man. Bro. You see, I'm a 12, you proved bro. my point right now. I'm a 12. <laughs> I should be the. It's gonna be one of Deadpool. those. It's gonna be one of those episodes, isn't it? You're just gonna come up oh, with these for sure, bro. This episode, maskara, the whole thing. All right, the whole cool, thing. cool. Okay. I just the chessboard threw me off. That's all. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. <laughs> Look, I, at least we started because to be honest, like you were half an hour late. Not a good start. To be fair, I got here before you, like two seconds before me, B but. Look, no one. And then you were like, "It's Ramadan. Listen, Let me go pray tarawih for four hours and come back." Yeah, but listen, who won the World Cup in 1980? Italy. No. Brazil. No. Look, I'm English, so as far as I'm concerned, we remember 1966, and that's it forever. Okay. 19 what? 1966. Who who won? England. Who did they beat? Uh, exactly. Argentina. No one cares about the, Argentina, like who bro. came second place. So if I came before you, okay. and then I'm like, "Yo, AJ's not here," they're like, "All right." I'm like, "Let me go." Like. Is that so? This is one of those motivational speeches. Listen, I'm not right? usually, this is DJ Bliss's I'm, motivational speech. I'm not usually, Nobody cares about second place. Nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. Ah, sit. So I was a middle child. So that's why I was treated like that when Are I was Are you a middle child? Up. No. I, see, this is the complicated thing. I'm a middle child. You know see, that. I was the young one. Yeah. And my sister came and messed everything up. So like it was just after, two of you? Like, like 12 years after. No, there, so there was three of us. Okay. And I was the young one. Yeah. All the attention. Yeah. Then that douchebag came and ruined everything for me. Wow. Does she does she listen to the podcast? Yeah, of course. Of course. She knows. She knows. She ruined everything for me. We what? were on holiday in Little Spain and we had to go back because she was born. Wow. But I love you. I love you. But you ruined that holiday. Definitely ruined How that holiday. How old were you when she was born? You're trying to figure out how old I am. I'm an old man, bro. No, I'm just trying to figure out how old you were when you're going through these emotions. Yeah, like, yeah right? We're, we're diving. No, no, but this is this is another thing. We are diving deep. We're Let's, diving this deep This therapy right session with DJ yeah. Bliss. Put your feet up if you want. Yeah, this, we can relax. And how does that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The thing was, it's that that's another reason because I was the youngest for so long. And yeah. then like 15 years later, my sister came, which was like, You've got no right to take this throne from me. Hold on. So you are a middle child. Now I am. Yeah. <laughs> but I was the young one. This is what I'm saying. For 15 years, like I was the chosen one. And then you after are that, a middle child. Yeah. I'm a middle child too. Yeah. 
I'm like, wow, that went around the big circle just to get back to that yeah. one point, well, right? Did we finish the intro? That's what I want to know. Because <laughs> it was so funny. Like it went from just, are you the middle child? A simple question yeah. to a full on therapy session of I why. Like, <laughs> I feel like, is the interview over? I <laughs> right? feel like it's going to be one of those, like people are going to yeah, yeah, yeah. not getting people the answers like, they want. What's like, going on with this? Yeah. Now, I told somebody, yo, I'm getting DJ Bliss on. Mm. And they said to me, the guy from Dubai Bling. Mm. And I was insulted by that. I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because your CV mm. is, it's a CV, bro. It's deep. And for people to know you from Dubai Bling, I mean, it has the two sides, right? Yeah, it yeah. has the, so Dubai Bling work, cause, and I'm getting new people knowing me, but at yeah. the same time, it's like, no, 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 he's not the guy from Dubai Bling. Yeah. He's the guy that's done so much more, you know, in the last, let's say, 20 years, right? Yeah, yeah, Leading exactly. up to, to, yeah. to Dubai Bling. So we'll go back there to start. We're gonna go deep, yeah. I mean, uh, it's a valid point. Um, it's a blessing. I'm grateful that people, you know, get to know that. And but there, I've heard it before. Like friends of mine, like hit me up every now and then. Like, yo, so what are you doing now? I'm like, dude, I'm like doing everything. Like, where are you? So what I believe is that um, as you know, you go through life. People stop going out, stop watching TV, stop watching radio. They get busy with their family. So, you know, life sort of drifts apart. So naturally, some people think like, oh, you're not really doing much because it's very hard to keep up mm. with people. Like, how do you keep up with people if you're not, you're anti, if you're anti Instagram, anti Facebook? Um, this is the world we live in these days, unfortunately. It's not like we go to, you know, a, a lot of gatherings and stuff mm. and we talk. I mean, and that's the sad part about sort of what we're losing out on uh, compared to what life was like before. So I think really it boils down to that. And, you know, whoever told you that, I hear it sometimes myself from my own friends or people who used to come like diehard fans that I used to see at clubs like all the time or like we were in the same circle and like, oh my God, people from my high school, like, mm. yo, so what you been up to? I'm like, I haven't seen you in like 20 years. Like, yeah, where yeah. do I start? You know? And the question so, is, what have you been up to that you yeah. don't know? Because you obviously exactly. are like preparing for the end of the world, right? You must be living in, under a rock. If, especially if you live in Dubai, you don't mm. know about Dubai bling. Love it or hate it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But the point you made there, this is a conversation I had with four of my friends separately recently. Yeah. Dubai is a very interesting place. Mm. It has this way of you doing everything but doing nothing at the same time. Like getting so carried away with your life mm. that you don't hang out with your friends. And we, we've had this conversation that we're laughing because every end of every conversation, we're like, all right, guys, we have to do something. Yeah. We have to meet up this week or let's make choose a weekday. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Three months later, we're having the same conversation it's again. Crazy, right? So you kind of, you know, there's people out here who don't save people's numbers yeah. um, on their phone, you know? Look, my, first of all, I, I know what you're doing over there. It's not true. <laughs> Uh, second of all, don't tell me you don't have a profile picture, bro. I'm not gonna hear that one, bro. I'm not gonna hear that one. What do you mean? On your WhatsApp? Oh, I don't put a profile picture. True story. Jen? Yeah, I swear. I don't have a name on it either. If you noticed, if you you know, like when you WhatsApp, when you get a yeah. WhatsApp from someone, and then like you get like a notification on your screen, and like yeah, yeah. whatever name that they've saved, you'll see. Like you ah. won't see my name there either, just because. I think, you know, there's a way, like, if you add someone, then you can go and see their profile and their yeah, name yeah, exactly. and all that. So I'm just, like, avoid it uh, as much as possible. So you're like, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, star is now yeah, yeah, talking exactly. to you. Yeah. Um, where we, where we, man, I feel like we both are going to, like, uh, go yeah, off this on. This is going, this is, yeah, it's tangent. I think this we're, this, this middle child thing, the you're, not, you're, not, you're not a Gemini, are you? No, I'm, be, I'm the best one. That's what Gemini say, but tell me. Enlight, enlighten us, Gemini. Okay, if you were in any situation, mm of danger, who would you want with you? A Gemini. Why would you want a Gemini? Most creative. What can a, what can a Gem, no, 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 no. Most creative. No, let's not talk about the- uh, Artistic the side? The fifth moon is in someone's butthole and all that stuff that so, Mercury, Venus, whatever. So I'm gonna, talking about pictures and, and actual shapes and what they, the horoscopes. Oh, I know. Hold on, let me show you. <clears throat> you know you, already. You're gonna love this though. Who would you want? Don't give me a retro. There you go, bro. That's it. What Just are you? saying. <laughs> what are you? See, the thing about Gemini is you can be a lion <laughs> and whatever else you want. No, you That's can't. the beautiful thing. You can thing. be two naked ladies. That's about it. But you could be a lion Holding and a, a naked pot. lady. Huh? You could be a lion and a naked lady. I you could be a lion and a, you could be everything. So that's yeah. the good thing about it. Yeah. You could be, you could be Capricorn and Leo. You could be. But it, but but I you know. still but you still have a lion on your phone. Yeah. So you still represent yourself as a Leo. 
No, not as a Leo, as a lion. As a lion. Yeah. I'm not a yo, what kind of animal are you? I'm a Leo. No, I'm a lion. Which is what, which is what we're going Latin, bro. You're a Leo, bro. <laughs> You're an Italian lion. That's what you are, bro, <laughs> when it breaks it down. Is that is that what a lion's called in Italian? I don't know. I just thought it makes me sound smart what? if I uh how do you say lion in Italian? Like this. Lion. <laughs> lion. Hey. hey. <laughs> it's linear. I what? Linear. There you go. Not Leo. Bottom line, I won. So to go back to it, what made you get into... <laughs> <laughs> what, what first... And it's, yeah, I told you, bro. It's not like anything. This is not a... As long as you bring us back, because yeah, yeah, me, yeah. I am like... We, yeah. we go and then it's we're... because you're a Gemini, bro. It's like one's in retrograde, one's in Mercury rising. Perfect. One's in stuff That's like what that. I'm trying to say. Why do, else do you, you have the constellation tattoo on your back as well? It's like, how deep does this go? <laughs> how deep does it go? So where, where, what was the question again? Do you read tarot cards? Shall I get out the tarot cards? <laughs> Would you like me to tell you? Do Hold you, on. Okay, do you believe in that? Wait, no, that's me. No, no, you're black. Two moves. Yeah, I know that Checkmate. move. Checkmate. I know that move, but you started wrong, Check. bro. You moved the wrong one. Checkmate. You just beat yourself. Checkmate, bro. Yeah, but to yourself. No, what do you mean? I wasn't playing. You played both pieces. You were going to play that first. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to play that first. I was actually going to play the one, uh, I would say the board numbers, but I don't want to start getting into it. Oh, we're gonna get deep on us like that. G seven. Okay, so All right. do you be actually believe in that? Star signs? Not star signs and and people who tell you. Look, the point that I'm getting to is, I went. My wife made me go to meet this woman, mm. who apparently could tell you who oh. you were nine lives ago. Yeah, and conveniently, mm. my wife was my mum in Turkey. Very, very specific. Like wow. in Turkey, uh, you know, 700 years ago. And that's why we get on now. Wow. And I had, I was in that position where I had to keep a straight face because she's yeah, my wife's down. friend. So I can't just be like, bro, are you serious? bro?" <laughs> like, wow. So look, I'll listen to it, but I'm not like going to be like, this is going to dictate my life. No, like it's too convenient. You believe that? You, you believe that of all the people in the world, the universe and God or whatever you believe in chose you to be the only one. That's the problem. Who, yeah. can, who can specifically <clears throat> tell me the region in Turkey yeah. that I used to live in. Oh, oh and I'm, I've been, I'm been upset lately because a business trade went wrong with one of my neighbors. Yeah. And it's like, come Listen, on, bro. Just, uh, you, can, you can get your DNA tested and figure all that stuff out. So make your wife go and like swab yeah. her mouth, send it to America, and they'll tell her exactly where she's from. Well, I don't want to because the woman told me she was my mom, so I don't want to yeah yeah i don't know it's too deep i mean i think god put us here for a reason and i don't think it was that easy i mean the first of all it's against our religion anyways mm. to go that deep into it but it's i think it's entertainment there's man this is world that we live in they're is, making money out of it dude. everybody's making money i mean everyone i think that's what it's about right everyone yeah. just trying to figure out how to make money yeah but don't push the spiritual thing out of me like this is another thing it's yeah like, you know, i'm spiritual people, yeah, but tarot but, card reading, coffee cup reading, and all that is just a little... It's a bit too much, right? Yeah. So what made you get into DJing? <laughs> <laughs> well, it all started... <laughs> right? It was the school days, really. Like, I, I was not part of, the, like, the cool kids in school who would go to all the parties and stuff. And uh, and then I was like, you know, I was doing my high school radio for a bit, so I was interested in music. I was in a band. I used to high play school music. High school radio? Mm. Here? In Dubai, yeah. Mawakib. Shout out Mawakib. Wow. So that's where it really started. Started collecting some music, started playing uh, to, you know, to throw parties. And then I got a gig right um, after school. And during my university days, I was doing a little bit of DJing. And uh, that's really where it started off. But is there anything specific? Like, do you remember, <clears throat> do you remember the, the specific song or, like, let's look at it like this. What's the first song you memorized all the lyrics to? Can you remember? Hmm. And I, I don't mean like Teenage Mutant Ninja wow, Turtles that's a great and question. that kind of things. But, hmm. That's good that you said that. It brought the memory Spinner exactly back. Them to be a fighting team. No, not that. It was Bart Simpson. Which one? Do the, the album. Man. Yeah, do the Bart Man. Yeah, yeah. Do the bar. I have a video of it too. That's man. I'm gonna use that video. I'm doing. I'm, I'm working on a project soon. Like, uh, and I have that on video. And I'm rap. I'm like rapping the whole Bart Man song and dancing to it. Do you Damn, remember it thanks, now? Ag. Anytime, anytime. Do you remember it now? Uh, I don't. If I play it, I might be able to sing along to it because you know everything's in your memory yeah, forever, yeah. right? Yeah. 
Yeah, do the bar band. Do the I bar remember, band. Because I remember being da, in Turkey. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Do the bar band. Do the bar. So that was the, the whole album. One. I had the whole album too. You, I remember having the Michael Jackson Bad CD oh, so dope, when my dad first got a CD player and yeah. we got it like a CD with it. And this thing was beautiful and yeah, shiny, yeah. and the Bad album cover was amazing. Like it was super cool. I can't remember if the Simpsons we had on cassette. All you millennials don't know what I'm talking about dude, right it's now. It's so strange that no they idea. don't know, dude. Yeah. Like, if I can't give you a cassette and a pencil and you don't know what to do. Listen, AJ, there's some millennials <laughs> who don't know what a CD is. And they don't know what Walkman is. Yeah. yeah. No idea. Like, we had mini disc. Like, we had stages. Do you remember mini disc had a short life. It was like in and out. Like. It had a short life, but you had to get a mini disc. You remember cool. laser discs? Dude, I remember all of them, bro. That's crazy. I remember. Uh, the CD ROMs. You know, you know the flat discs. The floppy discs. Floppy discs, and you just put them in. Like crazy that. like they were so unreliable dude they didn't work <laughs> like well they worked for the time but what about we there it. was a disc that was bigger than the floppy disc it was softer and it was much bigger did you have a commodore 64 ever yeah, of course i had a computer <clears throat> and i had the atari and i had the world, so yeah. the commodore 64 used to have these big discs and yeah. man those things were like so unreliable yeah, yeah. it's unbelievable that we used to have them do you feel like <clears throat> we had a better childhood i know every generation says that but like I was having a conversation with my with my four year uh, five year olds the other day, and I was trying to explain to them that money doesn't uh, that uh, phones didn't exist. Yeah, like mobiles, like we didn't have that. It wasn't it wasn't like we had crappier versions. But when we were their age, they they didn't exist. Did not. So yeah. we we kind of in the re revolution of of equipment, we luckily pretty much went through all of the all of the stuff, right? Yeah. They came and everything's just there, bro. Yeah. Like everything in a mobile, it's also a, a movie player, a CD player. Right? They have everything in one. Yeah. They don't realize the struggles and they don't realize like calling their friends took a... No idea. Do you remember the phone? They don't, they don't understand that you have the, the struggle of going downstairs, standing on the road and like trying to wait for a taxi. Like you yeah. didn't know it was going to be five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour. It was like yeah, you yeah. and your luck. Yeah, no. And it's if not you like Uber. Friends, yeah, if you miss them, if you were late, that's it. They've gone to yeah. the next place. Yeah, there's two other places they might be in. You have to try yeah. your luck, right? Or ordering from Pizza Hut or KFC. Okay, yeah, yeah. go left, right, and then yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. And then it was yeah. like, yeah. Do you know what else is interesting? <clears throat> so I'm, I love music and i love my kids learning music and yeah every day on the way to school we listen to music like they know some like all the lyrics to sam cook yeah like all the old songs and i mix it like i give them something from each genre mm. <clears throat> so one of the times it was michael jackson and which song man in the mirror nice because i like them to kind of have songs that have meaning in them i'm very specific about what i choose yeah um and uh black or white so mm. that's the two songs yeah so first, the question was, is Michael Jackson a girl? <laughs> dude, that's right? So crazy. I'm, dude, I feel like we are, like, I don't know why we just met. Like, Right? That's, this is what I was saying before, right? Because I played my son beat it, like, all the time. He <laughs> loves it. Like, he loves the, you better run, you yeah, better. Like, and then he asked can. me the other day, I showed him a picture of Michael Jackson. He's like, Dad, why is he wearing lipstick? See, bro, they, they, but they, that's how kids are. And I'm are. like, uh, it's not lipstick. His lips are okay, just... Okay, but wait, wait. This is the point that I'm going to make that you're going to face if you haven't faced it. So why is Michael Jackson a girl? Because, you know, Man in the Mirror, is, he's very kind of... God, he's very kind of yeah. light in that. <clears throat> Play him another song. Then I start showing them videos of Michael Jackson. Mm. So the next question comes in. How is that Michael Jackson... And that's also Michael Jackson. And that's also Michael Jackson. So they thought I was lying to them because I'm showing them an eight-year-old black boy. Yeah. And then I'm showing them a mixed race teenager. Yeah. To the point that I get to a 50-year-old white woman. <laughs> I was, right? I was hoping you were not going to say that. No, but it's true. I didn't want to laugh. <laughs> but it's true, though. Like, so imagine in a kid's head. Yeah. They're very logical. Yeah. So in their head, they're thinking, look, I don't know why you're lying to me. But it's very clear this is not the same person. Yeah. To them, for their visual. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I feel like we accepted a lot of uh, things in our generation, which this new generation doesn't like. Listen, we used to watch WWF, which is called WWE now. Yeah. But, and we were like, this is real. Yeah. But it wasn't real. And, you know, I think <clears throat> now, like, kids will not watch WWE and be like, yo, this is real. Like, I like think, we did, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, we, like, we believed it. I used to take my little brother and sister yeah, yeah. on the, my parents' bed. I used to jump off the top of a cupboard onto them and, like, yeah, power yeah. slam them. And, like, you know, they hated it because I was bigger and yeah, they yeah. were smaller. 
Did I was you have the undertaker. Yeah, like I was that? the Undertaker. I was Razor Ramon. I was everybody. Undertaker was one of my favorites. Yeah, you just put their head between my knee, Tombstone. put them up on my back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tombstone. And she was dangerous Memorial. too, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. But this is the point I'm making. How do you explain that to a five-year-old that it's the same person? Because I'm not going to go into so. Yeah. Listen, basically, he had surgery and he had vitiligo and blah 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 and whatever the stories. Like, had. So, how did he become like that, bro? I, and have a song you can be my baby it don't matter if you're black or well, apparently it did matter well he figured it out right yeah nobody it, else did right but this is another thing imagine so in our lifetime we've experienced a human being completely changed themselves yeah from top to bottom that's a very strange thing right yeah it's crazy if you think about it it's not like I mean, we have Instagram, so we know people are trying to change their, you know, their, chick, their chicks out there, their, yeah. their nose jobs and, and all that stuff. But yeah. he, like the young Michael Jackson and the old Michael Jackson are completely different looking people. Yeah, I know. That is, you know, I never thought about it. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. But look, I think your your kids are probably too young to understand. To understand yeah, but yeah. I think as they get older, yeah, yeah, I mean, it deserves a conversation. I mean, we didn't think much about it. It's confusing. But look, there's... It's, I think a lot of confusing things are happening yeah. in this world right now. Oh, dude, uh, don't, let's not get started because I don't want this one to get cancelled this episode. Have you had a cancelled episode ever? No, but I feel like if we, if we go into that yeah. and both our characters. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. to be honest, you got more to lose than me <laughs> <laughs> right now, <laughs> you know, while filming and all that stuff. So, so I I'll just got, oh, the one. guy from Dubai Bling. I don't <laughs> want to change that. Let's keep that, yeah, right? let's just keep keep that, that for right. now. So look, Dubai Bling, look. I was very honest with you from the start. Yeah. Reality TV is not my thing. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sit through it. I have friends in Real Housewives of Dubai. Yeah. I have friends in, in Dubai Bling. I think, like, for example, seeing Chris and knowing Chris, for me, is cringy to try and watch it. Mm. Because I know the person and I don't want to see... I know it sounds very strange. Yeah. Like, for example... How would you, would, did you watch it before? Which one? Not the Bible. I mean, did you watch those kind of reality TVs before? I'm not going to lie. I do watch a lot of reality TV. Not like everything. There's certain things I like. Like I used to watch uh, Love and Hip Hop a lot, but that was because of my, you know, connection to hip hop. Though. Even though it's not really about hip hop, mm. but I would like watch a lot of it just, you know, for the characters. Yeah. And then, you know, when you watch something, you want to hear, you want to find out what happens later. So I used to watch that. Um, but, what else did I used to watch? I never used to watch like anything else in terms of uh, like. I think most of the reality TV shows are for girls. I used to watch Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore is that I considered? That. No, uh, I remember Snooki. That's uh, is that considered the re uh, reality yeah, yeah. TV? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, not good reality TV, but reality TV. Oh my god, I don't know why I watched. <laughs> but that. that's you. You watched it for the cringe factor, right? Yeah. So that's the thing. So making that choice when you get approached to do that. Yeah. How do you kind of justify it to yourself? Like, for example, I don't post my kids on social media and I don't post my wife on social yeah. media. Not for any specific reason, just because I, I kind of want to have Privacy, my own yeah. thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. <clears throat> so how did you get to the point where you were like, you had to share quite some, uh, you know, I'm assuming deep parts of you and knowing that that's, I'm going to share that with everyone. Yeah. How did you have that, com how did that conversation go in your head? Did, was it kind of like straight away? Because some people would love that. They they mm. just want that fame. They want to be, you know, even if it comes at the expense of them being the villain in it or whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't know how it turned out. Yeah. Um, how did that conversation go in your head when you were deciding, do I want to do this or not? Yeah. Look, honestly, like I've always been interested in something like that anyways. Like, um, uh, like I did YouTube videos that looked like reality TV. You know, mm. I filmed them myself. I uh, filmed demos that, you know, I presented. I've been interviewed for a possible reality TV show before. Um, I was doing vlogs anyways. And for me, like I've always been true to myself. So I have no problem with like being out there. Mm. For sure, there's a risk of, you know, what happens and what can go wrong or whatnot. But I saw there was way more positives than negatives that can happen. Mm. And I, what I always think is that if you're true to yourself, then you don't really have to worry about it so much. Um, for sure, you're going to get people who love it and people are going to hate it. Um, but I think it's like 
that for everything. Like when you go and read a Google review about a restaurant, when you think about an artist, when you think about uh, a product, when you think about anything, there's people who like it or they don't. So I'm like, look, I'm trying to wave the flag for the UAE over here, right? I'm trying to be the guy who makes it out of here. And, you know, I'm sitting at an interview on the late night show or Ellen or Oprah. And they're like, yo, so tell us what Dubai is like, you know? So that's my goal. Like, I want to get there and like be like, and for them to see there is guys out there. It's not what the media shows you all the time and all about like, uh, you know, news and whatnot. So that's what I wanted to do. So for me, I was like, this, you know, this is an opportunity for sure. I'm going to go there. I'm going to stay true to myself. And, you know, touching on what you said as well about, you know, not showing your kids and all that. I actually, you know, voluntarily um, said, you know, when they asked me about my wife, I said, sure, let's, you know, you can do an interview with her as well and uh, see. And she got on the show as well. So we're on the show together. Um, I did think about my kids. You know, we don't really like show them, show them. I, you know, I don't want to keep them in the spotlights, you know, mm. to be fair to them. Uh, but it's part of reality as well. It's not like I was going to hide them or anything. You know, I do post them sometimes on my social media too. I don't go overboard and like show everything and, you know, uh, what we're doing. So you should have put them in those wrestling masks, you know, the <laughs> Ray, Ray Mysterio Jr. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I did the best that I could. Uh, try to make the best decision possible for me and my family uh, because we're going in as a family and I hope for the best. And, you know, on the other side of it, I'm grateful for the results. You know, it, it was it was tough a little bit, uh, you know, doing it and, you know, um, some feedback that I got. But overall, you know, I did like it. I don't know who this guy was that you asked about me. Did he know me or not before? But the fact that he said the no. guy from... You yeah, know, yeah. So... It's work, man. I got, I was running a marathon a week after the show came out in New York. Um, so you do run? I don't usually run, but I've trained for this. Because okay, uh, I was thinking about that because I saw you, I saw a post you did the other day and I was like, yeah. hmm. Yeah. I, so I, I was training for this marathon. It was tough as well because it was during the time the show was launching, but I still uh, planned to do it. So I did it. It was 40K and I finished like in six and a half hours. It took me forever. Crazy. But while I was running this marathon, a girl looks at me and she's like, and I'm in like one of the boroughs. I can't remember if it was Bronx or Brooklyn or like, it was not Brooklyn. It was either Bronx or Harlem or something. Mm. A lady turns around and says, hey, are you? I'm like, am I what? She's like, are you that guy from Dubai Bling? This is a week after the show came out. Wow. When she said that to me, I'm like, I'm running Damn. a 40K marathon in New York a kid from Dubai and this mm -hmm. lady just spotted me running a marathon. I'm like, Oh, okay. I think, I think this is like going somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then the love starts coming in and you know, like people watching, like people send me messages from Brazil, Australia. We bumping people in the streets in New York and like, Oh my God, watch the show. Look, I would think like after some time, yes, but a mm -hmm. week after the show yeah, yeah, came yeah. out in New York, yeah. And now suddenly it's like one Arab family. And then next thing you know, it's like, you know, uh, some Hispanic. So, and they're like, oh man, we really relate to you. So I knew that we were onto something that first week. And as soon as I came back, uh, you know, just, just took it all in took afterwards. All in. Yeah. Did you notice that your following went up after that? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Not only, not only just following because not everybody, uh, you know, it's, it's not always just like, you know, followers on social media but as a whole like i had youtube vlogs just said i haven't vlogged in a while those numbers were just going up, up by yeah, itself yeah, yeah. yeah people yeah. were interested in what we're doing so th that was going up music streams going up uh people showing up to my cafe like if they were walking by like uh you know to say hello um yeah all sorts of stuff you know like it's, mm. it's pretty crazy i'm not gonna lie it was uh it, it, it was did i expect it yes but not that much Really, mm. but I mean, putting anything on Netflix these days is a surefire <clears throat> to, to to succeed, don't you think? I mean, yes and no. Um, I mean, I have a Netflix account. I, like, I don't watch everything. No, but I mean, reality-wise, like, I don't watch <clears throat> reality TV, but I watch the shit out of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. What's that? It's a show. It's <laughs> be, be can prepared. You, can you say it in a <laughs> in a regular <laughs> accent? Right. So it's a show about these five gay guys mm. who find these macho guys. Macho guys? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Like a, big, you know, like a lumberjack or yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that. 
and then one of them does redoes their house one of them redoes their wardrobe one of them redoes teaches them how to cook and all that stuff for what reason though just because you can just to mess with them no 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 oh, no. actually trying to help them yeah so one's a psychologist or whatever and it's like it's one of those where like i i, I cry during everything like mm. when 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 Mufasa, when Scar went like, ugh, to Mufasa in Lion King, I was just like, hurt, right? Snake. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? That really hurt. Like, when I watch those things, like, you know, I don't let my kids watch it because, like, if I, and if I did let them watch it, I wouldn't let them watch that scene. Really? That, that, I think that yeah. was a little too, too much for a young individual to watch. It really did, you know, that feeling yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. about, I'm sure everybody went through it. And I think, I don't think that's fair for, like my four-year-old yeah, to go yeah. through that. Bro, it's so funny you say that. Imagine what happened to me today. And it's crazy. Some people's brains, I don't understand how they work. I really don't understand how they work. My kids come back from playing outside. Mm. Noah comes up to me and he's like, oh, the nanny's mom died and she was dead and her eyes were closed and she was lying down and blah, blah, blah. Wow. And I'm like, what's he talking about? Yeah. I find out one of the other nannies who's in the playground <clears throat> got a video call that her mum's dead. Mm. They're showing her her dead mum on the phone. Mike, she's crying. Noah comes up and goes, what's wrong? And she goes, oh, my mum died. This is Which, your nanny or no? No, no, another nanny. Mm. Random. Which you shouldn't be telling a five-year-old anyway. And, showing and he video? said, can I see? And she showed him. That's terrible. And I'm thinking, hold on, what's going on here? So I had to tell the nanny, listen, take me back to the park. Yeah. And I had to have a really awkward conversation with a woman who just, her mom just passed away. So I'm understanding on that point. But at the same time, thinking, you dickhead, why are you showing a five-year-old yeah. someone dead on a phone? Yeah, yeah. Like, what? You just went Simba and Scar on yeah, her, right? Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> I'm just thinking, where is your mind that way? You think it's okay to show a five-year-old someone dead? And what like, she on say? a live video of, as in, they're in the Philippines literally filming and yeah. showing her on live. Yeah, I hate that. I'm not going to lie. This this whole culture that we have of filming everything is just a little too much. I had, like, uh, one of our relatives pass away, like, uh, a couple of months ago. That. And my cousin, this was my one of my cousin's... Um, that we're not we're related, so it's, it's you know how people relate yeah, over here. Anyway, we're talking about uh, his I grew uncle. Up with a thousand He's my cousin's cousins. son, yeah. and his uncle, who is somehow related to us. And he's like, "You want to see his picture?" I'm like, "No, sends it to me right away." He's like, of "You know, him dead, not the... dead. He's like, you know, in bed. Like yeah, yeah. it's the end of the road." I'm like, yeah, why, "Why would you send why? that?" Yeah, but people do that. It's weird. It's, <sighs> It's very strange. It's very right? weird. Yeah. It's very weird. Some people mm -hmm. are very weird. <clears throat> What's going on? You can not make, not make a few people. There look, we live in a world where there's a lot of a lot of things. And the the more you start thinking about it, the more you th th think about people, and the older you get, you just start seeing things you're like so weird, right? Mm. The other day I was buying uh banana pudding from you know one, one of the famous spots in dubai magnolia i, I don't usually eat magnolia that stuff bakery, yeah, yeah, yeah but i was like charging my car and i was like i'm it was there i was like it's a sign so i bought it and i was just sitting down and having it and this guy comes in he's like hey give me uh two uh two banana puddings and full make it full please full, full no no fuller 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 i'm like dude the guy's yeah, like yeah you know what i mean like there's behaviors yeah. is what I'm saying. And there's different kind of people. We're like, especially when you're here in Dubai, right? We're two, I heard 270 nationalities over here. Hmm. Um, different religions, different nationalities, different races, different. And we all have to interact with each other. It's not like this anywhere else in the world. If you yeah. start looking around you, there's a Filipino guy here. There's an Egyptian guy here. There's a Lebanese guy, a Marathi guy. There's, you know, a lady from Africa over mm. there. It's not like that in a lot of places in the world. It's like a duty-free everywhere it, yeah, we go. It's like that in London, though. London, luckily, is so multicultural. But they identify themselves but they're all English. Yeah, as they're, they're all Londoners, London. yeah, 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 even yeah. if you're not from there yeah, or whatever. New York, same yeah, yeah. thing. It's pretty yeah, yeah. diverse, but yeah. no, they're New Yorkers now. Yeah, it's, it's very strange how people think. Like, I was having a conversation with someone, and <laughs> I was like, listen, I can't come. Don't laugh. Because I have conversations all the time. We're having one now. And I was laughing about something else, but I'll tell you later. Ryan Reynolds? No. <laughs> so 
I was saying, I was just before you gonna remember your stuff. I was saying yeah. like the difference between like Dubai hmm. and New York or London, like a Londoner, like everyone's eating fish and chips. In New York, everyone eats pizza. But my man over here, he still loves chicken adobo. Like yeah. that's facts. And like, some calderita, right? You know, you had the calderita recently. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. He's, like, he's not eating biryani. Bro. Let's face yeah, the yeah, facts. Yeah. They, they stick like, to it. My, my boy loves kushari <laughs> over there. Yeah. That's the bottom. Bro, I love kushari. We don't even get it started, bro. I try to take him out all the time. <laughs> But this is the point that I'm making. I was speaking to someone. I was like, listen, I can't come because the nanny's not there. Mm. They were like, what do, you, what do you mean the nanny's not there? It's Tuesday. And I was like, what do you mean? Because this is at night time. Yeah. So obviously my nanny, she does, when she starts work, she finishes at 5.30. Mm. And her life is her life. Yeah. She wants to go out. She wants to She's be with 5 her 5.30? Yeah, six. Bro, you got to push it at least seven or eight. <laughs> you if, my hear, nanny, right? if my nannies <laughs> are listening to this podcast right now, you're, <laughs> right? you're messing shit up no, for me right no, now, bro. She just goes say, out, she goes out just when do she me wants. a favor and just say 8.30. Yeah, yeah. So at 8.30 she finishes. <laughs> she does what she wants. She goes out when she wants. She doesn't have to tell us. Yeah. If we want her to babysit, we ask her politely if it's okay that we go out because she's a human being. Yeah. Dude. Like, I've had people going, what do you mean she goes out on weekends? Yeah. I'm like, what do you mean your nanny isn't allowed out? Like, what do you mean saying allowed out? The word allowed it. What do you mean? Yeah. Like, I don't get it. Like, my nanny, she can go out on a Friday and come back on a Sunday if she wants. She's not working, bro. It's, it's she doesn't work on the weekends, and she's off on Tuesday. You got a good life out there. You see, you got a good life. No, no, she's not off on Tuesdays. Just after she finishes work, she can do what she wants. Do you know what I mean? But I think people are getting it twisted that you you think that. You own these people, not oh, and they're not people no, no, doing not, a job. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? No, like who are you to imagine being the nanny, finishing your work because there are people, yeah, who they don't go out during the week. Yeah, not to see friends, not to do whatever. Like, imagine finishing your job and having to sit with your boss in yeah. the same office until the next morning when you work again. Yeah, like imagine that. Yeah, you know my nanny got a day off and she doesn't take it. Yeah, whatever. You're just trying to make it better. No, for real. Yeah. But I think that, you know, we, it depends on the situation. Be, but but if you're we're working... We're talking about the mental of some people, where some people are yeah. so backwards that I'm like... Are you getting well, here's the thing. People don't know the, the context of this. We're talking about when we were growing up, yeah. nannies were like, you're working here 12 hours a day, seven days yeah. a week for two years, maybe four and then you go home. Mm. So that whole thing is like, you know, done. They now official rules came into play and everyone knows as well. It's not like when you hire someone now, they yeah, already yeah. know like, yo, where's, where's my day off? I'm like, yeah, yeah. damn, you read yeah. the article. <laughs> You're like, damn, you, you know. listen to AJ's podcast. <laughs> yeah, you know. AJ's podcast. What have you done for me lately, Eddie? They are po I know what you're doing, AJ. You're I'm a Dubai woman now. I'm tapping into the You're tapping into the community. Filipino community, yeah, those yeah, that's Facebook right. groups. That's it, bro. I'm trying to get a move. Gasper won't get me anymore. I've tried to, bro. <laughs> I've tried to. I tried to get him to teach me the secrets of uh, Filipino calves. <laughs> for real? Bro. Teach him, bro. Bro, he won't tell me, bro. I even made him come on the podcast and stand here and turn around. Yeah. His calves are like this thing here. For real? The show me. Thing. I want to see them. Gasper, show him your calves, bro. Show him. Really? It's you not can see from the front, they're sticking out, bro. But that's not a normal thing, though. Every fi My Filipino nanny you, you, has bigger calves than me, bro. You know why, right? It's basketball. It's basketball. It's basketball. It's that hops, bro. They got the hops. Do you play basketball? You play basketball? Even if they don't play basketball? You don't play basketball? Before, see? At Isn't some that? point, at some point, they were jumping, bro. Listen, like, I, I know. Even if they throw, like, a, pe a piece of paper but into I've the got, garbage. I've got bad cough genetics, bro. Like, I have to sit like this. You can work on it, the... bro. Just no, put no, some... No, no, you can't, bro. That's not true. Bro, I got two masters in sports science. I used to be a celebrity trainer. I've done everything other than shooting steroids directly into my coughs, bro. <laughs> you cannot... Like, some people genetically have smaller You cannot... Things. You cannot. Genes, like some people just can't grow their shoulders. Muscles, you can't get muscles in your calves? No, I have my, what are you talking about, bro? I have muscles in my calves. But what oh, I'm but saying is they're not, like... gonna, they're not going to be calves, bro. Mm. Like genetics, my brother, who's never ran a day in his life, like when we play football, he stands in one spot. Mm. He's like Messi in that one spot. He can do everything from that one spot. But if the ball is three meters in front, he's not moving, bro. <laughs> I've never seen him jump for a header in my entire life of playing football with him. <laughs> Because jumping for a header, he's like, I so you're saying that you cannot change. Like that, you cannot change genetics. No, what? Like you, you don't think like if you train, let's say your kids right now, right? Yeah. You you don't think that if you train no. them from a young age that you can get change their no, their you can't. 
they will get bigger. Like for example, I have two twins. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have one twins, one set of twins. <laughs> but yeah, if one of them, if they both have the same size calves, one of them trains calves and one of them doesn't. Obviously, his calves are going to be bigger and more muscular. Yeah. But you're, there's a limit of how much they're going to grow. Mm. And past that, it's just not going to happen. Like I'm saying, so my brother who doesn't move, who doesn't do anything, yeah, has legs like a like a rugby player and calves like this. But it's not because he's been training. It's, it's just his genetics? Yeah, it's just his genetics. So who who did you get? Your mom or your dad? I don't know, man. I think I'm adopted anyway, bro. They all got black hair and dark eyes and I'm sitting here blonde. <laughs> like, I don't know where tan. it came from. Yeah, yeah. Are you, you're always tanned, by the way. Are always, you on the beach bro. all the time or what? Always, but I'm a bum, bro. Literally, as much always as Always on can. the beach? Yeah. Well, look, I train in... And you eat a lot of spicy food, too. Yeah, that's yeah, what we were yeah. talking about earlier. I think that's pretty borderline racist. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's borderline racism. Might want to cut that out before season. Um, no, it's because, like, where I train... So yeah. I train in, in JB8, in Jumeirah Beach Hotel. Yeah. And I literally just... Gym What's beach. going on over there right Gym now? Beach. Are they solved the... Are they finished construction and all that? Almost. Almost. It's going to be dope. Bro. Yeah? It's going to be dope. I love it's that hotel. I got married there. You know that? Really? Yeah. I got... Um, I was Ritz Carlton JBL. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, JBH is like classic, but I'm not gonna lie. I like the, the old school it yeah. lobby. Yeah, it's not the same. As I used, used to, to go be. there. Even the gym used to be much better. Yeah, and I'll let you in a little secret. Mm -hmm. My favorite cake in the UAE is the fruit cake from, from JBH. Yeah, I, I told my family two years ago. I'm like, listen, stop surprising me. You don't need to go look I far. I'm want. like the same cake every year and get it a day before because the next day it tastes even better. I'm like yeah. every single year. It's like cold, I want the same cake. Like cold pizza, right? The next day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they get it. And that cake, honestly, is beautiful. It's amazing. So what made you get into DJing? I didn't answer that question <laughs> earlier. <laughs> we did. Here's a question that I tried to ask. How do you... I mean, it might just be a simple answer. And thinking about it now, it yeah. seems like a very straightforward answer. But how do you choose the right playlist? And how do you keep adapting your play? And I know you're going to say, well, you keep up with music and you know what's hot. Mm. But there's, there's a skill to it that obviously not everyone can do, right? So how do you know? So I think it boils down to this. There's a book, right, about it. I haven't read it, but everyone tells me about it. It's called Thousand Hours or 10,000 Hours, sorry. Uh so I think it's just one of those things. Like the more you much. practice, the better you understand it. So I have, I think my gift is really uh, understanding what people want. And usually I don't prepare my sets. I'll go there, I'll play a couple of songs and I'm like, okay, I know what you want. The first time I had to kind of like really, uh, I didn't prepare like exactly what I was doing, but I need to like give an idea because of this show that I just did at Coca Cola Arena. Mm. The visuals weren't. It's going to shout out the show, bro. Big Thank show, you. big crowd. Thank you, bro. It was like, yeah, I definitely want to talk about that. It was like a special Let's moment Let's talk about me. it, bro. I mean, I would have loved to have been part of the moment, but. But. I had a friend here. They weren't feeling well, so I had to stay with them and wasn't invited. Damn. See, AJ, you should have come and showed your support. I know you tried no, to. No, because like, you know why? Yeah. This is why. I, you I had didn't, I'll tell you the truth of why I didn't come. Mm. Because I know you're gangster, right? Mm. I'm by, not. By, by me coming. Mm. Is going on like it's some kind of big deal that you were doing it. Yeah. I can see the next three, four, five you're gonna do. Oh. So I'm like, I don't wanna make it out like this was luck and I should go <laughs> in case I miss out. This is my boy, right? He does this like easy. So I'll go to the next couple of ones, but I didn't wanna go there going, oh, if I don't go to this one, this might be my only chance of going to one. Like that's <laughs> that what real is, boys do, bro. That is literally the best answer I've heard from right? all my friends and uh, people who did not show up. That's the best one by that's what far. what real boys do, bro. Yeah. I'll come to the next one, maybe yeah. the fourth one. <laughs> But let's talk about that show because you, you had a lot of you had a lot of um, a can lot get of a, can we get there. back on double? Yeah. <laughs> can, can, can we get a, it's slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but back on double screen. Yeah, um, single screen wasn't as cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. It was just you going. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's talk about that night because it looked like it looked like I came seven, <laughs> you came thirty. It was fifty fifty. <laughs> we'll become second is last, bro. Nobody cares about second place. Let's talk about that night. So it was everything from yeah. beginning to end, not just not just. Uh, so yeah, first of all, the music I had to like you know pick out the selection because you know I wanted to have the visual. So I wanted to put on like the best show I've ever put on because I have been to many concerts, seen all the all the shows, and I'm like, listen, there's some planning going on to this thing. All right, so so I definitely want to make sure I had like the best as far as I wanted to give everyone 
every ex great experience possible, just like if it was any DJ who flew in or a concert that they went to. And then it was always, you know, I, like, so manifesting is really an important thing of what I do, you know, mm -hmm. uh, vision boards, manifestation. And uh, it was always a dream for me to do a big show like this. And it was important for me to do it in my own city. And this venue, you know, I've been in there a couple of times. And when I went in and I smelt the air and the feeling of when I was standing, especially when there's a, so there's a back entrance that yeah, the yeah, artists go through, well, yeah. you know, right? Yeah. And you see the whole city. It's crazy because it's like, it's, mm -hmm. so, it's all closed off. But you see the buildings yeah, like yeah. out of everywhere. And when I was there one time, I think it was the 50 Cent show, I was like, man, this is a pretty amazing feeling over here. I'm like, I really want to do my show. And it's always been on my bucket list uh, to do it. So, you know, I tried to put it together uh, initially and someone was trying to help me out. And then they were, it was getting a little complicated and it fell through. And then I was like, I spoke to somebody and they're like, you know, don't give up. There must be a way. And this is, there always is a way, mm. right? If you're, if you're persistent, you will find a way. Uh, if you knock on all doors, eventually one door will open and somebody will say, yes, let's do it. So You're going to do those cheesy lines all through the podcast, right? Basically. I'm okay. trying to give you like sound bites. Yeah, right. So for TikTok, on, some TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. <laughs> like realistically, that's what's going to make it, right? Yeah, yeah. The hot sauce is yeah, not going to yeah, make right, it. Right? Like all the really like profound stuff that you made is not going to make it. I know what you're going to do. You're going to take Michael Jackson looks like an old white lady. That's Don't do it, AJ. Am I wrong? <laughs> am i wrong so basically um <laughs> okay let me let's go back to that before we go back to that you do realize that he modeled himself mm. on diana ross his look and that's no joke google that shit really yeah he wanted to look like diana ross listen i gotta tell you i got love and respect for michael i love the dude michael's my hero man. yeah and um you know, even watch I watched the documentary and all this stuff, and I believe he was a he was one of the greatest of all times, mm -hmm. at a young age too, and that shit can scar you. It yeah, could, yeah, yeah. you know. It, I don't believe any of that shit, bro. All that stuff they said. Honestly, I just think he never had a childhood. Yeah, he never grew up. He literally was Peter Pan, and he just wanted to hang out and play. It's not, it's not only about that. I mean, it just plays games with your head. Like, if you think about the fact that you cannot go to Jamia to buy yeah. something, like, just think about that. Yeah. You're just locked up. You cannot go to the movies. You cannot go. Bro, I totally get it. I'm almost there now. Yeah, I know, bro. Like, so just yeah. wait till you see how you feel yeah. and then wait tell. Wait until after this episode, bro. <laughs> <laughs> when they're like, oh, him and Bliss are friends, bro. It's going to be over, bro. You get, When you're going to have to start ca calling Kefu instead of going to Enoch and MRI, yeah, you're right. going to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> But yeah, I bought an electric car. I can't do it anymore. I'm gonna charge that at home. Escalade. No, an, what? no, I got a Tesla. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, what made you get into DJing? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. yeah. So oh, I got to feed. <laughs> this guy's getting thirsty. I thought you were just literally gonna pour. Oh, okay, I thought you were gonna pour it over the system so all the mics like this episode is over. That was it. Was gonna be an accident. Yeah. Right? yeah. So yeah. So the the show. Back to the show. Yeah. yeah. So. Rest in peace, Michael Jackson, one of the greats, um, loved his music. And I think that is the most, it gave us great music ahead of his time. Yeah. But back to the show, Michael Jackson, an inspiration again. You know, I've watched this guy perform and that was the first person. If we think about it, like, man, if you think about the, the old generation, yeah. when they used to talk to us and they say, yo, dance, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Michael Jackson was like synonymous amongst the yeah. whole world. This is pre-social media. He started beatboxing. He started yeah. all of that stuff. Yeah. Even in the Arab world, yeah. like uh, they used to say like, you know, dance like Michael Jackson or whatever. And Does uh, the moonwalk look as good in the Kandora? Because you can't see the knees. It's easier to do, but you might lose an eye yeah, along right? the way. <laughs> Losing the eye yeah, is like squeaking yeah, on the floor. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so one of the greats, uh, definitely inspiration for me as well. And then the show, that's what I wanted to do. So the kid from the city to do a show in his own city, it was one of the hardest thing ever. I put the show together in 20 days, wow. um, because I had very little time. Um, it was the only opportunity I had. I could have not done it and done it later, but I felt like I got a date. The venue was willing to work with me. Um, it felt like yeah, it was the don't right slap time. manifestation in the face. Like it's like you manifested it, it came, and then you're like, exactly. maybe I'll try again. They'll be like, yeah, okay, <laughs> let's try. Yeah. Let's try I mean, and see what happens. Literally, I tell yeah. people that all the time, right? Some like I tell them when you manifest a car, right? 
you say, I want a Ferrari. And then you see a Ferrari show up and you have the money for it in your bank or access or available funds or a situation to be able to get it. Don't mm. manifest it and say, hey, this is not mm. working out for me. I don't have yeah, a million yeah. dirhams. No, if you really wanted it, you, and, you and you can go get a loan from the bank. That's what made it happen. It's mm. in front of you. Just go ahead and do it. So absolutely right. Manifestation came back and said, yo, here you go. I wasn't about to pass on it. I could have done it later. I could have more time. I could have tried to get like celebrities involved to promote and make it bigger. But I'm like, this is it. This is now. Uh, and so I did it. It was hard work leading up to it, man. It was probably some of the hardest days that I've been through in my entire life, my wow. entire life. Um, but when the day came, I felt a lot better. Um, and then showtime, when I went on stage, the second I stepped on stage, uh, the first song I played was DJ Khaled, uh, All I Do Is Win. And uh, every time I step a building, everybody's go hands go up and I saw everyone's hands up. That's it. You were like, it's done. That was done, yeah. Done deal. So it was beautiful, man. People came out. It was it was hard to get people there. It was hard to get people to buy tickets. I went over and beyond what I could do with promo. I had like stickers on a bus. I had billboards up. I was like running ad campaigns. In a very short time as well. Very short time. I called friends, asking them for favors. I called Jay Sean, one like somebody I know. I'm like, yo, please, can you post for me, bro? Mm -hmm. He's like, sure. I called like influencers. I called like friends, everyone. So it taught me a real life lesson in terms of you know who's there, who's there, who's not there, who supported who didn't uh what kind of support you know did somebody go out there and just show up and buy their own ticket or did they just stay at home and you know give me an excuse about not mm. coming yeah cut we're ready to finish uh, put Ka the camera Kani doesn't know what's no. going on Kani's like, what's going on? Go, put the camera on him he's still talking he's still talking <laughs> he's still talking put the camera on him can you zoom in uh, on okay his... let's get no no go back 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 to little, his one back to his one a little more hey zoom. you're supposed to be team me bro what's going on up there a little, little <laughs> more zoom <laughs> you know my reasons and they're very very valid and it's true yeah. because i support you more than the people who you think support you yeah. and i think you, you learned that today yeah well listen we're here right now we're talking yeah. about it so this is support bro yeah. i'm not gonna lie so it, it could be support in any way and any form you know people message me and said hey good luck somebody messaged mm. me the day after said hey listen you know uh i hope it went well um any for me a support is not it does not have to be a social media post it mm. doesn't mean that you came doesn't mean that you bought a ticket it could be in any way or Just form at all. Or even care, yeah. yeah if you mm. you know we were talking about doing this before the show happened mm -hmm. as well like you know, if it happened, we would have spoken about the show in advance too. But I really think us as Arabs and as a region, we got to work together better, mm -hmm. right? The kid from Dubai was doing a show. Like there should have been a lot more mm -hmm. uh, support, but maybe it was the first time people didn't know what, people didn't understand the magnitude of yeah, what I was trying yeah. to do. They didn't see it from maybe. what you saw. They didn't understand they didn't, it. Man, yeah. I, I did it on a Sunday. I did it early, 7 to 10. I put the ticket prices at 125. I wanted kids to come because I play nightclubs mm -hmm. mostly and I wanted that, like them to come and experience it. Um, I, you know, I wanted my family, my mom and dad, I wanted them to come. They couldn't make yeah. it. My mom was uh, sick. Uh, you know, she had the flu. She couldn't yeah. make it. And my dad's like, uh, you know, she, I'm going to stay home with her. Um, family members, my brother, my my brothers, my sister, um, child, you know, people who I came up with, producers who I worked with from day one, um, everyone. I really wanted it all to come in. But you got to remember that this is the first time. People don't know. Like, when is the first no, time? You don't like, know yeah. what to do. You know, it's like when COVID first happened. No one knew what to do. Mm -hmm. So all I wanted to tell everyone was that, look, this is something I wanted to do. This is this was my manifestation, but this is bigger than me. This opened the door, right? So tomorrow onwards, no one can say, hey, uh, we're a local DJ, local artist. We can't do our own show. Yeah. No, now you can't say it's not possible anymore. So I really wanted to open the door. Got some up and coming DJs to come and open up. Even though like our DJ agency, we have like 15 DJs. I could have put them them on. But I was mm. like, let me give a chance to, who, like how I got a chance when I first started off, give somebody else a chance as well. Mm. The artists who worked with me from day one without asking any questions, flew them in for the show. Um, so all of that. So for me, it was a beautiful thing, man. It was a, it was a night of unity. Mm. Um, I was worried about like the turnout and how it was going to end up. But I got exactly what I needed yeah, to do my vibe, show yeah. great vibe great performance and it was perfect like i couldn't i couldn't be more grateful to be honest with you bro it looked dope honestly like i'm not just saying that thank you <clears throat> it looked dope um what what's next i uh, no, no no let's let's go back a bit mm. are you ever gonna open a barbershop that's not in middle earth it's not middle it's downtown bro, this where the one ring was made to forge the more bro it's like, it's literally downtown. Literally, Sauron is standing on top of your 
thing saying you shall not pass like it is far bro i'm from the other side bro i'm from the greens and the from this side we need something here bro yeah because you're like i know like i said you got the dopest barbers as well mm. can't deny rabbi amazing barber yeah he's you know, you know i opened the barbershop because of him bro he's amazing bro yeah honestly like people talk about rabbi and they know bro yeah if you need a fade He's the man. He's going to fade your ancestors. Like, that's how <laughs> deep it's going to go. He and cuts, he's done a lot of stuff. He cuts my dad's hair, my hair, and my son's hair. Three generations. That's crazy, right? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I, and very reasonably priced as well. Yeah. <clears throat> well, some people complain, unless, but... Unless I, you're I, paying petrol, like I am, yeah. to get there. Then, but, then it's not reasonably priced I'll, t- I'll tell you why I haven't made the decision yet to uh, open somewhere else. And it's really because Beats and Cuts is about the service that we provide with the barbers, mm-hmm. right? So if I open, I can make it look like Beats and Cuts. Yeah, like franchise. Yeah, it's but it's same, not yeah. food. I can't mm. get like the head chef and like put the food in two different places. So my my number one concern is if I did two, am I gonna have the same experience mm. as a whole? Sure, I can find five or six good barbers, put them in there, the place would look the same, play good music and mm. you know, but you know, to keep an eye, because I'm actively involved. I saying that though i am trying to figure out how to do it uh you know with the guys that we have and find a way to expand that's why we're hiring like a couple of more barbers so when they come in and they feel like it's part of the family but it's a valid point i think dubai is not the old dubai where we would go anywhere for anything Mm. you know if there was uh, bro i just hate the area yeah like you know that whole downtown area one wrong turn yeah your appointment's gone mate yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a little difficult, but Dubai, that's what Dubai is trying to do, right? So they're trying yeah. to build communities for people. So you have healthcare yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, malls and supermarkets. But before, back in the days, Al Nasha Cinema, if you're coming from Jebel same. Ali, was, yo, we're coming. I was born in Abu Dhabi, bro. Yeah, I was born in Cornish Hospital, which was a cinema and school would have everything at the same time. Everything, there's yeah, one yeah. place you go in there, you give birth to your baby, you take him to the barber, he cuts the umbilical cord, <laughs> and then he used to keep passing them on, bro. The same do you thing. Know what I mean? yeah. So, but we, Dubai has grown a lot, man. You've seen a hell of a lot since you grew up, right? Bro, like, Being, I, how long is it now? 50 years of Dubai you've seen, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice try. I'm sorry, I'll start, I'll start, yeah, being, yeah. I'll, I'll start being professional uh, it's, on it's, the next episode. <laughs> yeah, on the next episode. Uh, yeah. yeah. F and shit up. Do you, <laughs> yeah. swear, do you swear on the podcast? Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Say it with meaning. If you're yeah. going to say say it with meaning. No, nah, but listen, we've said a couple of things that I'm trying not to get canceled. So I just, I'm trying to blend it in nicely. But you can swear, no? Yeah, you can swear. Look, I get away with a lot more. Yeah. Because I look like I'm either Albanian or Italian or whatever, and I have a British accent. That's borderline racist, though, no? Yeah. That's why I get away with it. Now, <laughs> now if I, I was, was just hitting you back with your if, own nah, line. You can't, bro. You're me, but I'm quick, bro. I'm quick. I'm like two Pentium chips up there. <laughs> so, but if this podcast was in Arabic, yeah, and my lahia was nicely, yeah, thingy, yeah, yeah, then I think there'll be more of a spotlight on me going, hey, listen, Beg- beha- behave yourself. Beg- Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I can get away with it more because more, I'm like, all right, mate, how you doing? All Welcome right, to mate. the Jabba, man. Yeah, <laughs> right from the big city of Jammu <laughs> Dubai. Can I go to Burj Khalifa tonight? Like, so I get away with a lot more like that, you yeah. know? So, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. What, what, do, you, what do you want to say? <laughs> no, I want you to swear on the podcast. No, I ain't swearing, bro. Listen, how I, the fuck can you make me start swearing? And like we would, this, 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 this is your, this is your, this is your podcast. This is a team, though. Though. Yeah. At least say shit or something, bro. I'm pretty sure I said that earlier. Look, what? I'm not gonna lie. Like I'll swear, and yeah. I do swear, yeah. okay. but prove it. Um, but I am careful about say it. Say it with your chest, huh? Say it with your chest. You ready for it? I'm ready. Put that camera. Yeah. It with your chest. No, no. That's what you said, though. No? no, I said say it with your chest. It with no. your chest. No, you know what I'm going for here. That's what you said, no? no? I mean, say it with your chest, but say the right words. It with your oh, chest. Get out of here, man. Right. Anyway, so what, what made you, on, in the beginning, Pen- what made you want to be a DJ? Pentium <laughs> 4. <laughs> you said Pentium okay. 2 chip. Is that what you said? Two Pentium chips. Okay. Two Pentium chips. Try and mess, listen, my logic, if you try and break me down, no, I'm but, already on the third joke that I'm going to say after this fifth But sentence. people still keep up with, because that was a thing back in the days. Like, yo, yeah, yeah. is this Pentium 2, Pentium 3, Pentium 4? Like, yeah, I don't yeah. even think about that anymore. Quads, core, my, bro- I, no, my brother's like that, bro. My brother's like that. 
he'll tell me, oh, my Mac's better than yours because like that. And I'm like, bro, you're 50 and you're still challenging me on who's Mac's better, bro. Yeah, that, pff, take that's your, Take your big calves and get out of the room, bro. Apparently, there's some new technology on yeah. the way which is going to make um, what we have right now feel like we're throwing a dart mm. and that's going to feel like you pressed the laser button. Here's a question. Do you feel like AI will I knew you were gonna take say DJs that. away? I knew you were going to say that. Um I can't believe you fell for that. So let me tell you about AI. <laughs> but look, AI can't do this. So I guess you still have a job. Well, no. Why? AI could take over that job because if AI can do what it needs to do, people can do that. What do you mean? People don't really care about the DJ like that much anymore. I think it's stor really? starting to lose its uh, whole thing. Now, I don't know how far we go. The, the, the crazy thing about AI is the fact that they figured out now how that you can go in and say, hey, write me a rap song like Eminem. And then you can mm. find an app that can sound like Eminem and then boom. Together, yeah, yeah, make it. Have you heard that? Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, I just do it myself because I spit hot fire, but usually. Drop it. Huh? Drop it. Nah, bro. Like, I don't want, see, because if I do, then you're going to be like, bro, you know, I've got a label. We should really do this. And yeah. I just, just want to be friends, bro. I don't want to make money don't... off each other, bro. Do you put music under your podcast or is it like, what like a like a, like a music like bed? A happy ending massage <laughs> like what do you mean no is it like a music bed underneath or is it just like throughout the whole thing yeah because i don't want you to rap and then like people will take it and sample it no, and like, no, no, you don't no, want no, that to happen. music bed under there no, no, no. yeah because that would be weird um so how did you get into podcasting so i used to be a dj right let me tell you how i started getting for into real DJing. for real huh were you a dj before for real no but you see how i keep flipping the jokes i told you i'm too fast bro <laughs> too no, fast bro i'm no, too fast no. it was a serious uh, question no, no 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 um so basically uh, I'm going to skip that question because I don't want to waste the time, you the, time, the time that you have <laughs> on, on, on that because we don't have much time left because you were half an hour late. All right. So, thank you. <coughs> you were late. You were late, bro. No, you were late. And then I said, yo, where's AJ? Where, yo, bro. He's on his phone. Khaled, just, no, no, listen bro, to the phone. When Mataradish, I can't, when I put the camera on his face again, he doesn't speak English. Can we put the camera on AJ's face one second? Gasper. How can they think, listen think, to me? This you is see, your you podcast. See the, you see all the UFC <laughs> stuff that I give you and stuff. Think about your answer very good bro. right now. Gasper, who, who is late today? Gasper, my friend. Who was okay, late? Okay, is the top dog don't, in Abu Dhabi. If you want tickets to UFC, don't whatever you want. Don't even look like, at him. I got you. His friend, I bring the UFC fighters here. Gasper. Gasper. <laughs> Khaled, Khaled, there you go good, good. that was Who? very you see that was very nice filipinos are so friendly bro they don't want to get into trouble or any conflict i love it you know what i love about filipinos Khaled, I, I, oh, there we go Khaled. so so you were late Khaled. anyway we'll get back to it you were late. <laughs> ramadan ramadan no it might be no, tomorrow no no, no it's, uh, we found out it's after tomorrow so you can lie today no it it's might fine. be tomorrow no, okay no. fine lie today go ahead <laughs> all right dk listen we need to rethink this whole uh cameraman options and, and everything there um how are these guys upstairs listening to right, me that's right a, give me a white shot please now <laughs> yeah. white shot he will there we go <laughs> <laughs> no, right i love it um yeah so what what, what what would you say was next i was <laughs> I knew it was going to be one be of those honest, podcasts. It's not the best podcast you've ever done. It was pretty good. I'm not right? going to lie. Yeah. No, no, we haven't finished yet. Don't try to say it's pretty good. Just sell <laughs> this was good. Up. Thank you for having no, me, no, bro. No, 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 no. We're still going. Um, <laughs> what's the most racist thing you've ever done? No, I'm joking. So, okay. What was, um, what were we talking about? Yeah, what's next? I'm oh, I got sure. you a gift. Here you go. If that's a minute, you try to say I got bad breath. Show them what it is. Aww. A for AJ. A for AJ. But what is it? Sugar. No, it's candy. Is it? Yeah. I don't know how to feel about this. It's a gift, bro. Just say thank you. No, thank you. But I just feel like you went half-hearted because you should have brought the J as well. Well, I was at the Armani Hotel and all they have is A's, bro. You, you, were, like, just... <laughs> you were like, hey, actually, it's Armani A. Okay, It's not just any A. Look, Khaled just went to them and he was just trying to figure out. He was like, what were they talking about? I still don't know what was happening. <laughs> he was like, was I right? Was I wrong? What's going on? <laughs> No, we, need, we need a behind the scenes yo, thing here, right? Alan, when I hit him with the Ramadan thing, he's like, oh, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Did you see no, his no, face no. change? He was like, he lied straight away. And you were like, it's Ramadan tomorrow. He's like, <laughs> he had his rosary beads out. <laughs> yeah, so what's next for DJ Bliss? Man, going on a world tour, waving the flag for the UAE. 
Mm. Um, you know, we've always imported talent over here and um, it's great. I love it. You know, it, it allowed me to stay here and never want to leave, but I think it's time to go up and, and do my thing and like spread more. I, like, I, I love things like this, like this mm. podcast. I feel like we need to be promoting more stuff like this to the outside world. Yeah. People need to be like tuning in, listening to our music, watching the podcast. We sit down and we watch everybody's podcast. We go to everyone's concert. Like, you know, why can't we start making our own people number one? Like, we got to start supporting each other. The level is going to go up if the more people do it. Like me, I love competition. When people mm -hmm. are doing stuff, I go to like clubs sometimes just to watch other DJs. Trust me, I'm taking notes. I go back and I switch my stuff up. And that makes me want to be better. And if everyone had that attitude, because let's face it, in this region, we do have like, oh, oh I don't mess with him and yeah, this and yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it, bro. But we should just like, if let's, everyone, mm -hmm. let's all get better. Yeah. Can you imagine what will happen? Dude, it'd be crazy. Even yeah. all the music artists that are my friends. Yeah. Like I have forced collaborations to the point that I've made both of them go to the studio. And I'm like, I don't understand what's going on. Yeah. And it's not even a case of they don't like each other. They just don't do it. People don't collaborate here. Yeah. I had a friend of mine on the show called, uh, you know Hatim? Hatim Matar? Yeah, 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 of course. That's brisket yeah, in, yeah. in Dubai. We did a, our first collaboration at my Karak Ink spot yeah. with, with him. Yeah. Okay, Hatim. So he was he's very big on exporting Arab excellence. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's the same point that you were making that we need to stop looking outside. Yeah and start pushing what we have outside. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And we need to come up with more ideas to be inclusive of everyone. Like, I get it. Like, me, I was always focused on myself, not really, uh, not that I wanted to, like, step up. No, I built a DJ agency of 15 mm. DJs. We've had, like, five, six that, you know, came in and out, but we're 15 strong today. And that says something about uh, unity. Chef Codes, the DJ I DJ with, we've been DJing together 15 years. Oh. Like, I took him on stage with me, and I told everyone, yo, this is the guy. Uh, the guy, Prince Q, producer from Rasa Khema, I invited him to the show, and I'm gave him his flowers there on the stage. Uh, my first manager, the two first DJs we worked with, um, the two artists I told you, you know, like inclusive, all right? Because if one of us make it, we all make it. But we got to work together as a team. That's the only way it's going to work. I mean, I was a little disappointed that more people from the scene didn't come to my show, to be honest with you, from the industry. Mm. There was a lot, I'm not going to lie, but I would have expected more, a little, you know, a uh, bit of support mm. or... Um, you know, uh, awareness of say the event. Say how you want to say it. Little bloody respect. To yeah, drop, uh, yeah, yeah, drop me a Tupac. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. give me a Tupac. No, no, but still, like it's true. But we got, we got to do it. Like, especially when, especially other DJs. Yeah, you're like, I'm doing this for you guys. You don't even realize it. For real, honestly, like uh, for me, I'm a DJ, so I'm he, my first and foremost. Even though I'm trying to get into like being the the artist DJ, but I'm gonna be the artist DJ. I'm not gonna be the artist. Like I'm not gonna go rap and sing and all that stuff. I do it sometimes just on my own songs, but I'm here for the DJs. That's my first true love, and that's mm. where my love is. And I watch people like all the time and try to support them wherever I can. And I always, I even post it on my Instagram. I was, I, was, uh, I, I say. You know, shout out to the DJs because it's not an easy time for DJs. It's not, bro. But you know what? People have to stop being scared. Like, I have this quality about me and it can be seen as annoying and negative. Hmm. But you I'm annoying, not, negative? Nah. Nah. nah, nah. nah, nah. But nah. I, I'm not I'm not shy hmm. to ask something out my place for someone else. Like if I see an artist who wants to work for someone else, yeah, and I know the other person or hmm. I think and they don't want to ask, yeah. I'll straight up take them to the room and be like, listen, this guy wants to work with you, we're making it happen now. Yeah. I'll straight up connect people with no shame. Like yeah, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me look like the idiot. Yeah. As long as you guys end up connecting. Yeah. And I use every single one of my connections one way or another to try and help other people doing it. Yeah. Like, don't think for a second that I'm not going to message you in, in a couple of weeks and go, bro, you need to work with these artists. Yeah. Because yeah. I have the, the middle link there, the bridge. You might listen to a couple of those artists and go, they're not for me, but this 100% I want him. Right. Yeah. And, and all it takes the... is for me to just ask yeah but people see that as they see asking as as a weakness what do you not, what, what do you what do you what do you lose from doing that nothing. what is the person you told to lose from doing that nothing nothing there is everything to gain and nothing but, to yeah, lose but it's ego bro because they they feel like it's a weakness it's shameful to ask somebody for a favor or to to ask somebody who maybe is a bit ahead of them yeah. to kind of help them out do you know what i mean yeah look ego is the enemy yeah yeah, 
that when people the the more you figure that out the the faster you figure that out because you know we all have egos i mean i i had my fair share of having ego earlier on in my career i'm trying to you know get get into terms of how to you know be in control of my ego rather than let ego be in control of me and the quicker you do that and i try to advise people you know like young people like when they hear stuff like this like when we used to hear it back in the days like from older people like what do you know about but we can only do our best like we can only try and like i said we have everything to gain and, and nothing, nothing to, to lose. lose absolutely nothing mm. absolutely nothing if i shared uh, uh, uh artist's song or commented on his picture i have nothing to lose it's not like all my followers are gonna go to you and then i oh my mm. god it's literally not like that and love always wins add that to the other cheesy comments that he put on i'm gonna make a nice tiktok was out it on me or yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was on you yeah. okay uh, it does it does no, love no, no. always wins bro the bottom yeah. line is look hate is it's cool a little bit <laughs> mm. you know like oh my god like everyone hypes each other up yeah, yeah, yeah. yo listen yo, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yo did you see you know it's cool for a little bit but unity and love goes way further is the camera on me i got another yeah, one yeah. individually as a person you can go fast together we can go far i love that this is the time now where we all Sing together. Can we get a white one? Okay. <clears throat> We're going to sing Imagine by John Lennon. <laughs> Imagine all the people. You got a guitar here? Living, huh? You have a guitar? No, I have one at home. Oh, I was going to play you Khaled, song. Khaled, go to the house. On the corner. There's a guitar. Bring it. We are, <laughs> pause it we are central right now. If he goes to your house. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get stuck in downtown. We're and be come back with a trim from beats be, and cuts, bro. He's going to come back be, with a haircut. We're going to be fasting. We can't <laughs> yeah, even play right. music anymore. It's, it's over. True. <laughs> it's true. No, but listen. Um, what would you say is your most profound experience in life? For once, I'm going to be professional. Profound? What is the exact meaning of profound? <clears throat> like something I'm really proud of? Your Siri. Oh, you're asking for the real definition? Or? Yeah. No, something... It's a very British word. Yeah. Uh, basically smart. Um, the so, word profound means smart? No, no, no. Just being British. So profound what? is something that was so profound, <laughs> like, a, a, like an experience that was so, and I'm going to say it again, profound <laughs> to you that you will never forget. You remember being in that moment. Mm. It could be, it could be anything. It could be, you know, your... You the see birth an, of you my kids. A, yeah, you see an old man whose cars yeah. broke down and just randomly some one guy comes and, yeah. you know, does it. Look, whatever. I'm not going to lie to you. It was literally at my concert when I came because I didn't look into the crowd. I went out earlier and I kind of like, uh, you know, was just taking little peeks and I, and I disappeared for a couple hours. So right before I went on, I ran right behind DJ Booth. And as the song said, all I do is win every, and every time I'm building, everybody's hands go up. I'm like, when I come on this DJ Booth, <laughs> It's either going to be... Did you have a floating stage thing that goes up like that? I made it look like it was, oh, but it was. You were like on one knee like that. You pushed the other one up like that. <laughs> Behind the So scene. when I came up, yeah, I'm yeah. like, when I come up, it could be 50 people there. It could yeah. be five. It could be 100. It could be, I don't know. That was the moment of truth. When I came up and I saw people there, I had this smile on my face. I'm like, that's all I needed. Thank yeah. you, God. Let's get this party started. That was literally my moment because, you know, it was like fear of the unknown, not knowing, mm -hmm. you know, are people, this was my show. It wasn't like I've done, I, I literally was there. Yeah, uh, I mean, you've DJed for how many people? Say all some the of time. the names that you've done. Like you've done a lot of stuff, bro. Yeah, a lot. Like I did Beyonce's Atlantis show. I did 50 Cent recently. The night before I was at, I did the surprise set at Demi Lovato. Yeah. Um, Kanye West. I did all the Formula Ones the first year. Like it, they're there no, no, for no. those guys. Those so this so, one is you. Like, yeah. yeah. And imagine coming to a concert. So you already got like concert goers, and you're only gonna hear Beyonce songs tonight. But I come on, I'm playing you like yo all your hits because I know what people. Like, that's my gift. So yeah. I'm playing like all songs, like every song is sing along. So the fact that I was gonna come up and these people, they're either here. They're here either for me or they're Imagine not here. You came up and it's just your mom and dad and your wife, just like that. Just I had a fear. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna. You, that's, did you that, not feel the vibe? Yo, you know when energy is in the room. Let me you can tell feel. you. Let me swear for you. Look, that yeah. shit sounds funny to you. That shit was real, 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 real for me. Really? There was. It was a 50-50 chance there was gonna be nobody there, 
were very few or it was going to be like good enough for me to do it. And it was beyond my expectations is wow. what I needed. Um, it, it, it was exactly what I needed to do what I needed to do. Let's just say that. And literally right before I went up, it was crossing my mind. It could have been just my brother, my sister, my friends, and you know, a few other people. And I didn't know. And when I came up, that was like, up, right? Yeah, that's, that's a feeling that you just stay with yeah. you, right? Because you know, uh, right before I went up, uh, Keza, one of our DJs, he's like, uh, bro, listen, I want you to remember one thing. He said, no matter, and I don't know why he told me this. I feel like I, when he told me that, I got scared. He's like, no matter what happens, <laughs> Just remember, whoever is here, they're here for you. That's the worst That's, thing I'm to like, say to someone. Why would you I'm say like, that? Why is Keza saying this? Is, this? is there no one there? So he said that to me. And then when I came up, I realized what he meant, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. I came up and like, like all I saw was like flashlights. It's crazy. I had this picture on my vision board back yeah. in the day as well, by the way. It's crazy. Do you have like a newfound buzz now where, because it's hard. Once you achieve something, mm. any less is not enough now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Can you imagine now you're going, you DJ got a birthday party. You're just like, what the hell is going on? Listen, here, that's, right? the, that's the thing about me and that's the thing about Gemini. So we yeah. are, we can do anything. Like, I'm that guy. I w like, I can go eat at a Michelin star restaurant mm. tonight and I'll be at Ravi's the next day. Like, I'm totally cool with it. I can do a uh, arena concert and I'm doing my friend's fashion show in a couple of days. You know, uh, my wife had an event the other day for like, 15 20 people i still do it like totally comfortable in my skin and um uh, and i enjoy it i'm not gonna lie yeah that was a really I, cute answer but now tell the truth true so when you do something like truth, that truth what a douchebag answer just to try and sound cool Th there is no way you did that arena you. and you're gonna get the same buzz again like you, your 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 taste after i eat this a candy yeah Eating candies without a letter on it is not going to work for me anymore, bro. Yeah. Without my initials oh, on them. Do you know what I mean? So I what I'm saying you. is like, when you had that, yeah, like your level of endorphins, adrenaline have experienced something that you're now going to chase, bro. You're going to yeah. be like, I, I want to do the next one. Like the, the ones that I'm going to come to, yeah. it's going to be bigger right. than that one. Right. So you're not going to be like, I want to do that again. Yeah. No, I want to do the same thing, but, but with bigger. people outside can't get in. Do you know right. what I mean? Yes, I love that. That was that's inspirational, bro. Yeah, um, that's the one I'm coming to. <laughs> yeah, no, that's inspirational as hell. Um, I like that. That that concept for me has always been I want more. But I'm just saying, I could do other stuff and mm. be comfortable with it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah for sure. That. Yes, I want more. Yeah, I want more. And I, but I'll tell you another great story. Two weeks ago, I DJ at Ultra. And the headline act was Skrillex. Nice. Huge fan. I'm a huge, huge fan. I've seen him at a show in, uh, in Thailand. I followed his story, his music. He disappeared off the internet for a while, mm. came back. He's a true musician as well. He's a DJ, but he was into rock before and he plays all the instruments himself. And I mm. love his sound. Amazing. So I'm opening act ultra. First person, people walking oh. in. He's closing act full house and i caught a little bit of a set because i was djing at uh the w afterwards uh for for like uh they, they're trying to do like an after party mm. i go to the after party who shows up at the after party skrillex crazy right so i was talking to his uh guy like uh they were asking me about some arabic song stuff so you know we were in touch he said yo we're in the lobby are you playing upstairs i said yeah it's my watch telling me to stand up i'm, like, it's all right. I'm with aj just do that right I'm with aj yeah, yeah. um so he says, yo, we're in the lobby. Are you playing? I'm like, yeah. He's like, all right, we're coming up. I'm like, okay. I, I didn't believe it. And the party wasn't great. I'm not going to lie. There was like just people sitting around lounging, smoking uh, shisha and like, yeah, you know. Cigarettes. It was, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was very like, it was very like, it was too chill yeah. for my liking. Yeah. Um, and I happened to have left a Skrillex <laughs> concert to come yeah. here. Dude, Skrillex walks in. I'm playing a song. He looks at me. He's like, I'm like, oh, nice. yeah comes to the dj booth i met him we have like this we're talking for like a good 15 20 minutes i'm like my songs are running out i'm like hold on one second yeah, yeah. And i go play a song i come back i go play a song i come back so we talk for 10 minutes he's like this i'm gonna sit down and hang out a little bit and uh yeah go do your thing and uh, i'll see you in a bit and it's, it was about to close in like 15 minutes he comes back he's like listen i have this uh memory card i like to like test sounds when i go to places do you mind if i play a couple of songs i'm like oh yeah sure 
Um, I haven't told anyone the story of this uh, publicly, by the way, um, because I was busy with my show. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. Exclusive, exclusive, <laughs> exclusive, exclusive. Um, so he starts playing one song. He's playing, I and mean, I was playing I'm a Piano, this genre. I, yeah, you know, yeah, you know right? Yeah. So he goes in, I'm a Piano. I'm like, whoa, okay. I asked him, I'm like, do you know I'm a Piano? He's yeah. like, yeah, I know a little bit about it. He starts playing boom, boom, boom. He's playing one song, two songs. He's like, you want to go back to back? I'm like, bro, it's like five oh. minutes left. Play whatever you want. Like, it's all you. He starts mixing, like going full I'm a Piano now. The the whole party is like lit. Everyone's yeah, yeah, yeah. like, whoever was there was like, what is going on? Skrillex is like DJing mm -hmm. at this like small time thing. And he's not just playing songs. No, he's, no, he's DJing like in, yeah. full effects and everything. Three o'clock comes. They don't sh they don't stop the party. We keep going. Then I'm like, then we start playing back to back. Um, this is like one of the best moments of my life. And then we're done. And we start talking. He's asking me about Dubai and like places like uh, clubs. And I start naming a couple of clubs. He's like, look, I don't care about the biggest club. I want to know where best is like the, the best vibe. Mm. You know, it could be like the smallest place, but I want to know like, like that's what I love doing. And that really changed my mind about, you know, what would be post mm -hmm. uh, my Coca-Cola Arena show because I thought the same thing. Like after I do Coca-Cola Arena, am I still going to do birthday parties or like uh, clubs and all that? And that's where I thought, dude, this guy, like his whole vibe was just so right. Like mm. I'm like, he loves just showing up places yeah, and play yeah. some music. Ask me about who has the best party or best vibe. There must be a reason. So that's where I thought I want to be like you that. Still do that. Yeah. Bro, that's so dope, man. <clears throat> that, that experience was insane. Is that the uh, Ultra? What? Yeah, I just got it. I want to get one of those. I just saw it literally yesterday. I saw I saw somebody wearing it. I my like my big daughter. Watches, yeah. Huh? I like big watches. This is if so if you had the old one, this is like how do I explain it? Let's say you had an iPhone, uh, iPhone 2 on your yeah, hand. Yeah, this then, is yeah. like an iPhone 16 on your wrist now. So, it's like... I'm getting one. I'm getting one. Basically, my daughter literally broke <laughs> broke my... I don't know which generation Just I had. Like, like three days before the show. I'm like... Yeah, I need one. I yeah. need it because, you know... So then I asked, I asked around... I wasn't sure if I should get another regular one or this one. Everyone's like, go oh, this one. I'm like, but I'm not going diving. Or you are now. <laughs> now I am. <laughs> you are now. You'd be like in Khod Fakad next week. Just diving <laughs> and stuff. Do you feel like there's anything we missed out? I mean, just how I started DJing <laughs> aside from that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just, best, let me tell yeah, yeah, people tell how people. I yeah. started. Yeah. You know how? Started from the bottom, <laughs> now, now I'm here. here. <laughs> That's it. We're up, bro. Dude, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you, man. Thank you, man. Um, we've been going on for an hour and a half, and I've, this is the longest I've been without a hit of Doha, so we need to end the episode. For real? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, half, half no, serious. No, 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 half, half, half serious. Half serious, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> How do you get away with this stuff? I feel Check like we said... Seven, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we we you talk sound like you're from London. Yeah, you do sound like you're from London, mate. You from yeah, yeah, east, yeah, south, exactly. west, north, west, bro. Let's not get twisted. West London. Don't make me have to bring up the Batman. Talk <laughs> now, bro, I'll give you the other side. I've been pushed like, for a like, while, bro. Like Heathrow. No, 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 bro. Straight up Grove, bro. Let's do it. Let's do oh. it. Um, Isn't Windsor up west as well, or is that? Bro, you can just tell you're an Emirati tourist, bro. You just go to. I bet you go to Cromwell Hospital as well when you're feeling a bit sick. Bit, I've bit been to Mil I've been to Milton yeah. Keynes. So you haven't been to London before? No, I haven't. Because all these places that you're telling me, bro, are the bubkin areas. Of Win the, sorry, I just guys, said sorry, Windsor. Win Windsor. Where Windsor Castle. WTP. Do you know what that stands for? World Trade Paddle Windsor tournament. Town Metropolis. Say that again. So WTP yeah. stands for... <laughs> stands, say it again. Stands for... WTM. <laughs> okay. WTF, guys, man. WTF. <laughs> nah, bro. Dude, this is your house. Oh, You're more man, than I welcome. I feel like you... Anytime. You stop my check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop my checkmate. You're more than welcome to do an episode two, three, four, bro. <laughs> Thank to you. To be honest, you've done enough interviewing in your life that I might just call you when I'm feeling lazy one day and tell you to just <laughs> like, to no hijack the episode, bro. <laughs> I just about this and I got a guest coming in. Can you do it? for me we might do that one day it'll be quite fun bro yeah i'll be sitting yeah. over there yeah you'll be here and you just do the guest and just let, me, let me know how it goes bro <laughs> have you shown everyone the jacuzzi or not yet or just like who's everyone like the guests like the, your viewers yeah. i know the guests no no, 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 no no so this is like is that top secret or did i you kind of just ruined the whole thing no no wow. i'm joking no. we'll, we'll we'll film a video once we're in there you got to show people the... that i don't think anyone no, no, else like you know what yeah. you know what aj told me he said Basically, if we have guests who want to watch the podcast, can watch it in a jacuzzi. I was like, 
I mean, I don't want to be bougie, but they can use a sauna or a steam room as well. Like, it's not just a jacuzzi like, that you could use, bro. I've never heard that before. And then you tell me I'm Dubai bling? No, bro, you are Dubai bling. Well, let's see if they make another season and then maybe we can get on there, mate. Oh, yes. I'm super excited to be on a D show DC. like this. And, yeah. I, you know, I'm super excited that we're filming season two as well. You're, so you're filming season two? Yes, we are. Oh, no way, dope. Yeah. Man, I would have had to be really smart to just accidentally say that and bring it in there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> i'm super excited yeah, you ready to go yeah do you know what i'm gonna watch it now just because of this you should i think no, no, yeah. listen i think you should give uh definitely not. give it give <laughs> definitely not gonna watch, watch it, a couple of episodes just for i was like that why like, don't i just film us and our normal interactions when we're going out mm. and then i'll just watch that back and it can be the buy not sibling no you gotta watch it bro really you gotta, listen you gotta watch it because i'll tell you why you're doing a podcast yeah. right and I was like, I, I never watched uh, Game of Thrones. It was okay. like, that's too long. I, I watched, seen I, by the way, I'm the same thing. I watched the first episode like five times. I'm like, this is not for me. Oh. And then when I got into it, like one, two, three, four, five, I was hooked. So I really do believe, look, there might be some stuff you might not like, but you're, you're representing the city, right? Hmm. There is stuff that you should see. And I would like to really know your opinion about. Okay, I'll watch it just for you. Yeah. And you're going to know my real opinion. Look, I don't want you to sit down and just watch it. Just no, put it bro, on. I'm and... a child, bro. Like, I watched all of Breaking Bad in like oh my two God. days, bro. <laughs> like, two Breaking days. Bad. Didn't see my kids. Did I just locked myself. I can't do it. I can't do this. It was Let me watch one episode. Yeah. And then two weeks later, watch it. No, bro. If all 12 are there, I'm watching all of them in a row. Yeah. So I'll let you know in about four hours how the, <laughs> <laughs> how the bipling was. But bro, again, thank you so much for coming. Thank bro. you, man. Thank you for Friend having for me. Friend for life, bro. I'll be for at real. all the rest, the rest of them. Yeah. Bro, thank you so much. Catch my catch my I can do it from here, bro. Oh, you, you're such a chameleon, right? Yeah, you're such a Gemini wannabe. Oh, <laughs> right, guy's got a line on his phone. Guys, I've been AJ. He's been DJ Bliss. Boom. Boom.